Hey, <laughs> I love guitars. I love guitars, and I, uh, as as I'll show you in a few minutes, I am I am like surrounded by guitars. It, this is really like, really cool. I think the only thing I like better than guitars is maybe keyboards, but I'm not sure. But we're going to talk about guitars, and which one, wh what kind of guitar do you think God would like to hear the best? We'll answer that question in just a minute. Now, this guitar sounds really good. This happens to be, this is not my guitar. Uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Greg, let me borrow this for a little while while he was while he was gone away. And I've used it in the studio here to do some recording. This is a Martin, beautiful guitar. This is a Martin DRS-1. Now, Martin makes uh, a really, really good guitars. This is not a top of the line Martin, but it, it's it's nice. It's nice. It's kind of like middle of the road Martin, and uh, beautiful, beautiful guitar. Sounds great. I, I got a couple others here that, that I want to show you that that are mine. So let me let me grab one of these. Okay, hang on just one second. Now, this is an Epiphone, and. Sounds pretty good too. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, this is not as ex as an expensive a guitar as the Martin. Epiphone makes some really nice stuff too. I'm sorry, it's dusty. If I pre pre prepare for a video, I should clean up a little better. Sorry. Um, but this is an Epiphone. Uh, what is the model of this one? Not that it matters. It's a PR5E in black, obviously. Uh, I had this for a while, and I've used this in a lot of rec a lot of my recordings. So this is a you know middle of the line acoustic guitar, and uh, okay, I like I like black guitars. But let me show you another one. Also an Epiphone. And Epiphone, you can't hear this one too much. It's obviously an electric. I haven't got it plugged in. But maybe you can hear it a little bit. Um, Epiphone, this is a Les Paul copy. The model uh, Les Paul, um, made by Gibson. And um, nice guitar. I bought this used uh, maybe a year or so ago. I use this a lot too. Again, not top of the line, but it's uh, it's kind of a yeah, it's an okay, okay, average quality guitar. Let me show you another one. This one, not quite in tune. This is my favorite. This is a '70s reissue, '70s uh, Stratocaster by Fender, and I love this guitar. This is a higher end guitar that I've had since 2008. I don't play it an awful lot, at least I don't take it out an awful lot, but this is the, an exact copy of one that I had uh, back in high school and throughout the over the years up until 2008, which was a 1974 Fender Stratocaster in brown. This is an upper end guitar. I found this guitar in an old house that I happened to be in one day a few years back and it's a classical guitar not a classic a classical three of the three of the strings are nylon it has that nylon classical guitar sound and doesn't even have a name on it uh, for all practical purposes it's worthless pretty much as far as money goes or anything doesn't have much value um, you know, I wanted the classical guitar sound. I wanted that sound. This guitar isn't worth much. 
And in fact, but it's got that sound. In fact, none of these guitars make any sound at all on their own. You have to play them. You have to play them. So, I'm going to leave this one right here. I wonder which one God prefers to hear. What do you think? Well, I think we could agree that God probably really doesn't have a preference, and that is not his main criteria of how much a guitar costs. It's who's playing it. And it's the fact that it's being played. Yeah. So, which guitar do you relate to? I, I sometimes relate to this one. I, I'm not worth an awful lot. Uh, but I can make music if God will play me, so to speak, use me. Each one of these guitars has a, a special sound. This one, this one especially, because it's the only one with the nylon strings. It's kind of like you and I. We're, we're all special. Whether we're musicians or whatever the gift God has given us, we're all special. And in His hands, we can make some beautiful sounds. Yeah, we can do some really special things. Maybe you're feeling like you can't be used, like you can't do anything special, make any kind of good music. Maybe if you're a, a musician, maybe you don't feel like your your instrument, whether it's the one that you hold in your hand or the one that's in here, maybe you don't feel like it's good enough. I, I, I get that way sometimes. Especially when you look at, around at what other people are doing and you start comparing yourself well God is not comparing you God simply wants to use you and me and whether you can identify with uh, this guitar um, and say that well I, I I'm not worth much but you know you are you are in God's hands you can make some beautiful music. But just like the rest of these guitars, they make no music until somebody plays them. And don't, don't spend your days, your weeks, your months, your years waiting until you think you're good enough. Because, you know what? You, on your own, you're never going to be any better than you are right now. Now, let me clarify that. I'm never going to be any better than I am right now. It's God that makes the difference. This guitar, <laughs> it'll never be a Martin. It'll never be a Fender. It'll always be just what it is. And you and I will be too. However, when we put ourselves in God's hands and let Him make the music through us, that's when we become all that he wants us to be. So let me encourage you, if you're not doing all that you maybe should be doing with the gifts that God has given you, whether it's music or otherwise, let me encourage you to go to, go to the Lord and ask him, say, Lord, just use me. Use me. Yeah, take, take this instrument and use it for your glory. Yeah. I said earlier that I'm, I'm sitting in a a small studio here. It's Just Got Studios in the York, Pennsylvania area. And if God leads you, if you would like to explore the possibility of recording, if you haven't done so, we would love to hear from you. The email is be, is below. Paul G. P A U L G at JustGotMusic dot com. Love to hear from you. And uh, remember the podcast, the Just Got Music Hour, every week. And get in touch with me. We would love to. Uh, love to talk with you about your gifts and how can we help you? How can we help you get your gifts to work for the Lord and be a blessing to his people? Until next time, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. I'm Paul Gibbs. I'll see you next time. Take care.